Every summer, the costume shop goes dark for several weeks. When we come back, the fall gala is the first thing that's going to happen, and it's the beginning of our season. It's kind of an explosion of work immediately. We have four designers, so you have four different ideas, four different kinds of costumes. It's much more intense than it is throughout the rest of the season. The most challenging thing for me is to invite choreographers, have designers collectively chosen, and then try to put them together and see if they mesh. And that's often very difficult because people have their own ideas. This just came in from Mary. I think it's the boy and the girl. I'm working with Mary Catrantu, a fashion designer based in London. We never met in person. Actually, we've yet to meet. I was really drawn to the graphic nature of her work, and I thought it would translate really well to ballet. Oh my gosh, okay. It's all safety pinned on. I think Mark, when he first opened that box, saw more lace ledgers than he was expecting. It's an application of a very, very bespoke lace that's done in the form of the alphabet. Literally covers the body as a second skin. It's gonna be a bit of a struggle getting in and out of them, but I mean, this stretches. I could get in that. I would take it almost like three inches, skimming that length a lot shorter than this. The whole jacket should feel really, like almost like she's wearing her little brother's jacket. Tom's clothing is really fitted. So I think what the big difficulty of putting dancers in clothing is having them being able to move around like dancers. And that's one of the main reasons why ballet costumes exist, because dance needs so much freedom. I tend to, in my collections, not worry about movement as much. So you want the jacket to look like a jacket, yeah. but then making sure there's enough movement for them to be able to actualize the choreography of the piece. So, there's version one, which is this. Right. And can you do like those little turning things that you do? Costume, I guess, is another form of inspiration. You can start with the music, you can start with a dancer, or you can start with a concept of costume. With this piece having Sarah Burton, it seemed such a waste not to include her designs from the very beginning. Look at what they said. <laughs> Oh my god. I feel like Whoa. it would be important for us to have like a practice skirt, right? Yeah, I think Mark's gonna That's do it. And good. it's not gonna be as long as that. Okay. Like, Both Tyler like Peck it. and Liam asked if it was possible to get a rehearsal skirt. We will often do that. I mean, if they ask us nicely, we will of course do that. To have a mock-up skirt in the studio and know what we have to work with from day one, we can really infiltrate it into the piece. And so we cut pieces that we can lay over them today. Perfect. So I love that. So Sarah, Sarah is wearing She's which wearing color? the navy. The navy. Perfect. Style is difficult to define because it's not only what a woman is wearing. It is the way she wears it. It's the stamp you put in whatever you do. Do you like them? You, you haven't seen them? I haven't seen them. They're all three Ooh. here. They're all three here. They're just getting So we're going to see them now. OK. So that's what we... I've known Carolina for forever. She is so tuned into the world of ballet. Yes. The body is paramount, and the dress, of course, is also paramount, but it has to be a perfect marriage. Dresses have a little bit of embroidery. It shines a little bit, but that's why I'm covering it. With the lighting um, in a stage, you won't look at the, you won't see the embroideries too much. Just there, mysterious. What do you think? Fashion always starts with a fantasy and a dream. But that dream has to become reality. This is the next big question. It has is to be. length. Mm -hmm. Most of the skirt will be this length. OK, that's good. Perfect. Good. In fittings, it always evolves. You may see something that will make you want to change something that will enhance the costume. Oh, trunk color should match the um, skirts. Yeah, gray, but make them really like you know, those old tennis, <laughs> those old tennis panties. With ruffles? Yeah, with ruffles. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny. You see? 
You should be as low as you can. And we dye it to their flesh color so you don't see ah, it on stage. perfect. Great, all these secrets. Yes. <laughs> I have a lot of confidence in the atelier there because I think they are accustomed to do all these magnificent costumes for the ballet. We have such an amazing team here in the costume shop. It's a group of people that will rise to any challenge and will find a way to make these costumes as beautiful as possible. Fashion in a way is performance. I feel like the costumes complement the choreography. Ballet has always been this meeting point of artistic mediums and been this place where different artists can come together to collaborate and create something new and original. I respect and admire the world of ballet and the concentration and how much drive there is. And I think it's similar within fashion. A collaboration like that makes sense. It's exciting, but there's always an element of chance. It's what we are about. We don't play it safe at the New York City Ballet.